Well, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Welcome to Brockton City Hall. It's a pleasure to welcome you all here for our celebration of Lithuanian Independence Day. Yes. I've been studying up on Lithuania all day now, so I'm ready. I'm ready. Uh, first, we have a number of our elected officials are, are here with us today, and I want to take a moment to recognize them. Uh, State Representative Jerry Cassidy is here with us today. <laughs> City Council at Large Moises Rodriguez is here. <laughs> Ward 6 City Councilor Jack Lally. <laughs> Ward 6, home of the Lithuanian Village. Uh, from the Southeastern Region Regional School Committee, Mark Lindy is here today. I do want to send regrets from uh, State Representative Claire Cronin, who is in session with the Judiciary Committee up on Beacon Hill this afternoon, and uh, regrets that she was unable to attend. Uh, from the Brockton School Committee, the Vice Chair, Tom Minicello, is here with us. And the Dean of our Legislative Delegation, Senator Mike Brady, has joined us here at City Council. I also uh, would, would like to uh, personally thank and recognize John Drusinskis. John is the chairman of the Lithuanian Heritage Day Committee and was instrumental in putting this together for us today. Thank you, John. So to uh, get things started, I'd like to invite up for the national anthem, Marite Bizinkauskas. Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the back on the 4th of July, I think. <laughs> uh, at this time, I, I would like to invite up uh, Father Tom Boudreau from St. Michael's Parish in Avon. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we come together today to celebrate the 100th anniversary of Lithuanian liberation. We stop to recognize the deep roots that this Lithuanian community has had amongst the great city here in Brockton. We thank you for the depth of the contributions that this, continue, this community continues to make and has made up till this point for their neighbors and for the community at large. Today we ask you, Heavenly Father, as we recognize their liberation to bless them and this flag ceremony which will always remind us of their place not only in world history, but the blessing to which they are to this local community and beyond. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now, uh, in addition to having a beautiful singing voice, uh, Marite is also the president of the Knights of Lithuanian Council, and I'd like to invite her up to make some remarks today.
Thank you, Mayor Carpenter, honored guests, and fellow Brocktonians. Jamais Lietovos ajolai jaluas. In the soil of Lithuania, mighty oaks will grow. This tree is very symbolic of the history of Lithuania, which I would like to share briefly with you now. The Roman historian Tacitus made reference to these Baltic people in the first century AD. In 1236, Mindogas united these people into one nation, Lithuania, and was crowned king in 1256 by Pope Innocent IV. The oak tree was planted. The Grand Duchy of Lithuania thrived for centuries, and the borders of Lithuania at one time stretched from the Baltic Sea north all the way to the Black Sea. The oak tree grew stronger. The joint Commonwealth of Lithuania and Poland solidified the Catholic faith in Northern Europe and allowed them the strength to fight off the Teutonic invaders. And this great oak flourished. However, they could not fight off the power of Tsarist Russia, and Lithuania and the Baltic people were absorbed into Russia in 1795. This oak was cut down but the acorns were scattered throughout the land. A country is identified by its borders, language, and culture. Russia tried to annihilate these borders, but the people knew where they were. They forbid the speaking and writing of the Lithuanian language, but the villagers still spoke it in their homes, taught the children to read with books printed in Prussia, and smuggled into the country under the cover of darkness. They kept the history alive through songs, dances, and traditions, and secret, secretly handed down through the generations. And those Lithuanians who managed to escape to the United States brought this love and devotion with them to their new country. Lithuanian oaks were planted in the coal mines of Pennsylvania, and here in the factories of Brockton. At the end of World War I and the collapse of the Russian monarchy, the people of Lithuania formed a Seimas, a parliament. And on February 16, 1918, 100 years ago, declared themselves an independent republic. What a bold move for a nation whose language was suppressed, and yet, the declaration proudly written in a dead language, Lithuanian, and that language is still spoken today. Those acorns grow into many mighty oaks. Unfortunately, the two decades of independence were cut short by World War II, and Lithuania once again found itself under Russian domination, only this time under communism. No matter, the desire for independence was deeply rooted in the hearts of the people. In the late 1980s, a period of glasnost and perestroika was declared by Gorbachev, and a little more freedom was allowed. The brilliant, patriot, the brilliant patriots of the Lithuanian Communist Party asked and received permission from Moscow to be an independent Communist Party, not necessarily tied to Moscow. The permission was granted, and the Lithuanian Communist Party declared themselves independent from the Soviet Communist Party in Moscow. Then, on March 11, 1990, declared the country of Lithuania independent from the Soviet Union and Vytautas Landsbergis was chosen the first president of the restored republic. What a masterful move. The heir of the Lithuanian Republic was restored, but not without bloodshed. When the eyes of the world were focused on the beginning of the Gulf War, the furious Soviets sent tanks to Vilnius to, sur to surround the radio and television tower in order to quash this independence. When news went out, the residents of Vilnius formed a human chain around the tower, linking arms and singing, Žemė Lietuvos, Ažolai Žaliuas, 
In the soil of Lithuania, mighty oaks will grow. The people thought the tanks would be restrained by the human shield, but the order to shoot to kill was given, and 13 people perished there. The radio station in Kaunas sent messages out to the free world telling them what happened. Our Brockton native, Lucia Bashkauskas, was brave enough to stay at the Kaunas radio station reporting on the invasion to the free world. However, help from the outside was a slow to arrive. No matter. The desire for freedom was greater than any adversary and the Republic of Lithuania battled on. Today, Lithuania is respected on the world stage as a member of NATO, a member of the European Union, and will be one of the few sites worldwide of a cyber security center in the coming years. Today, as we celebrate the 100th anniversary of the Republic of Lithuania with our flag raising ceremony in Brockton, we can reflect on the contributions of the Lithuanians here in our wonderful city. Brockton can boast as Council One of the Knights of Lithuania, an organization that celebrates 105 years this summer, was established here. The Lithuanian village was the center of the community for a century, with beautiful St. Casimir Church, the spiritual and in many ways the cultural center for 110 years. Here in the village, we had Lithuanian bakeries, Kilkus, with a brick oven baked black bread on Arthur Street, and Bellevue Avenue Bakery with the delicious Tuesday bagels. Samulis Market, where you could buy most staples. Zinki's Market, where you purchase the tastiest fresh kielbasa and pickles from the barrel. Mrs. Cassetta's dress shop, and very importantly, Mishkinis drugstore. Very important, not just for prescriptions, but it was the only place to purchase grain alcohol the ladies needed so they could make their homemade krupnikas, a honey spice liqueur, and other herbal medicines. <laughs> <laughs> The Sandara Club offered one of the few places outside of the North End in Boston where you could get a delicious pizza or a homemade burger smothered in onions which would melt in your mouth. It's heartwarming to know that generations of families still live here. Our grandparents gave us a love of our Lithuanian traditions and heritage, but taught to love this wonderful country even more. In Tukas Playground, there stands a memorial honoring those Lithuanians of Brockton who died in service to their country. The motto that grew out of independence was planted in the hearts of Lithuanians long ago. Wherever they live, you can be assured of flowers in the garden, a warm welcome when you visit, and a song at the ready. And so now I will sing for you that song. Jamais lié à voz, à joie jalouse, à joie jalouse, jamais lié à voz, jamais lié à voz, à joie jalouse, à joie jalouse, jamais lié à And we welcome all of you to join us as we continue this year-long celebration of the 100th anniversary of the, of the Republic of Lithuania. And the Knights of Lithuania Council One will be having tremendous celebrations in August, the weekend of August 3rd to the 5th. So please stay tuned and please join us. Thank you very much. Was awesome. Labas ir gera diena visiems.
Uh, it is a, is a privilege to, to be here helping you celebrate Lithuanian Independence Day. And so on behalf of the city, I would like to issue a proclamation recognizing today. And I would like to invite uh, my special guest here at City Hall today up to be presented with the citation. We'll, we'll let me read it first. But uh, Balis Rosienes is here with us today as my guest. Balis is the oldest living Lithuanian in Brockton. He will be 97 in March. And he's And he uh, still lives in the village. And uh, it's, a, it's an honor and a privilege to have him here with us today. Uh, so uh, when we're ready, I'll present him with the uh, proclamation. Whereas in 1795, the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth was dissolved and divided by Russia, Prussia, and Austria, a majority of Lithuania was placed under Russian rule. With the end of World War I and the fall of the Russian Empire, Lithuania declared her independence on February 16, 1918. And whereas during the 1940s, Lithuania was occupied by the Soviet Union and later by Germany, by the end of the decade, Lithuania returned to Soviet occupation and lived under communism for more than 50 years. And whereas on March 11, 1990, Lithuania became the first Soviet Republic to declare its independence. And whereas our vibrant Lithuanian American community has made tremendous contributions to the city of Brockton, now therefore be it resolved I, Bill Carpenter, as mayor of the city of Brockton, do hereby proclaim February 16th, 2018 as Lithuanian Independence Day. I urge all residents of the city of Brockton to celebrate this day. This proclamation is duly signed and sealed by me today, the 16th of February, and I would like to invite Belize up so that I can present him with this proclamation representing today. We'll have Donna give him a hand. I, you know, I can, why don't I have this? Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. Thank you. Yeah, Whoops. One more. One So at this time, we're going to invite Marite back up uh, for the Lithuanian National Anthem, and we'll invite uh, uh, John, uh, and John, who else? Marite's gonna be singing, to uh, help raise the uh, Lithuanian flag that we will uh, raise during Marite's performance. So we'll raise the, we will officially raise the flag of Lithuania and uh, while accompanied by the Lithuanian National Anthem. Yes, oh, my 
Anniversary of Lithuanian independence. Valo Lichavai. Acho, thank you so much for being here with us. We invite you to hang around and stay for a little while in our beautiful city hall and congratulations to all the members of our Lithuanian community here in the city of Brockton. Thank you. Thank you.